This is the derivation for the resistance reflection rule. This is part one, which is going to show the derivation when you're looking at the base and finding the equivalent resistance. So to do this, a test source is placed at the base here. I'm going to use a current source. I'm going to call it I test to find our equivalent which will be the Thevenin equivalent, RTH. I need to find the voltage, V test, which is this node, which will be the positive to ground over I test. By placing in this current source, I know the current through here and through here will both be I test. And this is plus to minus, plus to minus, this is an unknown current, so I'm going to call it I1, which is a plus to minus. Note that with I test going through here, VBE will be equal to I test times R pi. I1 is the summation of I test and GM VBE. And if I take a loop using this drop here as V test, I have plus V test minus I test times RB. Going through here would be a minus I test R pi and then a minus I1 RE. So V test minus I test RB plus R pi minus I1 RE. And that is all equal to zero. So V test is equal to I test RB plus R pi plus I1 RE. So now I can substitute this I1 with the I1 up here and I have V test is equal to I test RB plus R pi plus RE, so I test times RE, and then a plus GM VBE, which is I test times R pi. So GM and then I test times R pi. So this is plus, I'm going to write it as RE plus GM R pi and that's also RE times RE. So note that GM can also be written as beta over R pi. So if GM multiplied by R pi, we'll just leave beta. V test becomes I test. RB plus R pi plus RE plus beta RE. So this is 1 plus beta RE. Now taking this V test and finding the R equivalent is going to be V test divided by I test, which will cancel out this I test. So it leaves it with RB plus R pi plus 1 plus beta RE. So note that this is the resistance in the base. Because of the node where I started, I have a pathway through RB, a pathway through R pi. So it's RB plus R pi. If I had another resistor in parallel here, then I would put that in parallel at the base, but it would still remain the same. So it would be or that resistor in parallel with RB plus R pi plus whatever is down here. This is the resistance in the emitter and we note that it is multiplied by beta plus one. There's no other factor from this GMVBE so the R equivalence will always look like this. It will have the base resistance 
and no change with that. It's just whatever equivalent resistance is at the base plus then all of the resistance in the emitter times beta plus one. So this is the resistance reflection rule. When you are at the base, looking into the base, so from the base to the emitter. This is continued on in part two where I'm going to show the derivation when you're at the emitter.